first of its kind for Maryland Hickey Ministries, the Christmas in Bethlehem trip was amazing, packed with great teaching, anointed ministry, and blessed fellowship. Their first stop, Bethlehem City Hall, to hear a welcome address from Victor Batarse, Mayor of Bethlehem. He was very touched that Marilyn and our group chose to visit and stay in Bethlehem and noted that many groups visit, but very few stay overnight. Marilyn presented a donation of $5,000 for the Christmas Eve Manger Square event and the team prayed for both the mayor and this biblically significant city. On Christmas Eve, the first stop for the travelers was shopping, a favorite activity for everyone. Then it was off to Shepherd's Field and one of the three caves where shepherds of old announced the good news of Jesus' arrival. It was then on to the Church of Nativity, which is built around the accepted site of Jesus' birth. The group also stopped in Jericho for sightseeing and teaching from Maryland. Now, I believe the Word of God will make you strong. And even New Testament says... On Christmas Eve, the Manger Square area was packed with thousands of people of many different faiths from all over the world. As a highlight to the Christmas Eve service at Manger Square, our praise and worship leader Shirley Wilkins sang, Mary Did You Know? Marilyn was the only speaker featured during the Christmas Eve service. She spoke on hope for future, finances, and family. Shortly after she took the stage, Marilyn had to stop as the Muslim call for prayer began. She waited graciously for its completion. She concluded by calling everyone to repent and invite Jesus into their heart. All over the crowd, people prayed the sinner's prayer. For your future, Bethlehem, it's hope for you. After speaking at Manger Square, Marilyn had the honor of having dinner with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. On Christmas Day, Marilyn taught the travelers at the Mount of Olives. You know, I never dreamed I would be here on a Christmas Day. I never dreamed it. So this is really something that you would be selected by the Holy Spirit to be here at such a time as this. And let's not forget the Mount of Olives is where Jesus is coming back. The following evening, a miraculous healing meeting was held. The facility would only hold 800 people and every seat was taken. Right before the meeting began, the team found out that a number of people from Gaza got special permits to attend the event. So it's very important that you listen to the words. Marilyn taught on John 5 about the man healed in the pools of Bethesda. During the time of healing, many were healed from back, hearing, foot, and emotional problems. A woman who had suffered pain in her back for seven years was healed and could move freely. A man who fell a week prior and fractured his knee was freed from pain and able to move. Approximately 300 people responded to the salvation message and it stood for a deeper walk with the Lord. The travelers then had the opportunity to pray with people one-on-one. -on -one. At the conclusion of the trip, Marilyn led the group in communion at the Garden Tomb. They also got to see the Golden Dome of the Rock Mosque, which is built on the Temple Mount where Solomon's Temple once stood. Our Christmas in Bethlehem 2010 ministry trip was a special once-in-a-lifetime experience. Thank you, friends and partners, for your continued prayers and support.